Hey guys, it's Michelle with Cachelle Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Um, as we're closing out October, we're already starting our virtual retreats for the holiday season. And this retreat that I'm going to share with you is a virtual one that I'm doing with Three Craft Chicks for the holiday season. And I say holiday because I do celebrate Christmas, but I know some of you don't. And there might be another holiday season that you do celebrate that you could probably incorporate this um, for your crafts. Um, but I wanted to share with you what was included in the kit. Now, before I get started, anyone that is doing the in-person retreat, I would urge you not to watch this unless you want spoilers. Um, the in-person retreat is going to be hosted on a different weekend in Washington. And again, that weekend would be for November 10th, 11th, and 12th. But the virtual retreat people are going to be hosted this weekend in October. And that would be um, October, I think it's 26th, 27th, 28th, and 29th, if I'm not mistaken. Um, when this goes up, it would be already started for us. But I wanted to just share with you guys what would we be working on. Um, there will be three different designers that we would be taking classes along with some impromptu sales that they would be selling stuff in their store along with a kickoff. Now the kickoff is sold separately. Um, it's only something if you want to partake in and the kickoff basically is like a make and take event with the same three designers. Um, so if you've ever attended a scrapbook convention or um, I don't know who else would do something like this but they usually have an introductory kind of thing. I would imply as that's what that is um so a kickoff is just to get your balls rolling your juices flowing your crafty creativeness going <laughs> um so in my mind that's why i opted into this again in doing the kickoff i did do the kickoff during the summer and i felt like i i would miss out if that makes any sense you know fear of missing out or fomo is a huge thing i think after COVID happened, or I don't even know if it existed before, but it, it has been a big part of my life um, after COVID. I just, I like to participate in everything. Enough with the, the ramp, um, but let's just get started. So hopefully that was enough time for those who are attending me in person to get off the camera um, because we're going to just dive right in into the Candy Lane Retreat. So... Again, this is hosted by Three Craft Chicks. I will put their link down below um, as I'm recording this on Sunday, and this would be going up, I hope, on Thursday, um, which would be October 26th. Uh, I do see that they still have kits still available. Now, obviously, if you're purchasing that today, being Thursday, um, the retreat already started, but everything's recorded um, on Facebook. That is a platform that they use. They do not use YouTube. So if that's a deterrent for you, I just want you to be aware of that. Um, so yeah. Anyways, so you're going to see we are doing make and takes. Um, Joey, I believe, is a person that works with Doodlebug. Leo is Leo Concord with Leo by Mail. And then Lauren is... I think her last name is Seals. Um, she is Michelle Craft, who owns Three Craft Chicks' daughter. So those are the three designers for this collection. We did have different designers for, I'm sorry, not the collection, the retreat. We did have different designers for the summer. Um, so again, you definitely want to make sure that whenever you're opting into retreats, that it's something that you want to partake in. So it kind of gives you an idea of the activities that we will be doing and all the fun stuff. So this is the kickoff swag bag. So I'm going to move the, the box off the dust so we can just dive right in. So this is a lot of fun. All I got to say, uh, I'm going to bring you guys a little closer. There we go. So it seems we have some tool that I probably will repurpose. I'm sure a lot of us think that way. Um, and let's see if it's easy to take it off. I will cut it. Oh, they got this on there good. Oh, here we go. I was pulling from the wrong string. They want me to work for it. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> all right. So that's fun. I'm pretty sure knowing us ladies will probably um, use that in something. 
So I'm just gonna dump it out. <gasps> so exciting. Okay. So it seems like this is a project with Leo and in the summer one, she did have her own exclusive stamps. So that's one thing why I did the kickoff again because we did have exclusives that were in there. I do know that Leo did have leftovers from her summer one that she did put in her shop for um, for sale after the retreat. I don't know if she's going to do that again. And for some weird reason, I cannot find the opening on this. I see it. I tell you, it's like a trick. Oh, here. Maybe it's backwards. Okay. There we go. Alright, I just ripped it. Who cares, right? So we have some twine in there and a tag. And I just want to share with you the cute stamp that we're going to be using. Because this is adorable. Oh my god, I'm having so much trouble, guys. Okay. <laughs> I don't know which way it goes. Look how cute. I want to say that she has something similar like this in her shop. I don't remember what the theme was, but um, this is so adorable. And then you have a to and a from that are separate. And then you have the definition of Christmas. How fun is that? So it says the only time of year in which one can sit in front of a dead tree and eat candy out of socks. Oh my God, that's hilarious. Okay. That's too much. Okay, so that was Leo's. And then let's see whose is this one. I don't know. It doesn't have a name. But we do have a doily and some fun stuff in there. Seems like we're going to be making a holiday charm pop-up card. Oh, it's from jo It's on Joey. So her last name is Otolo. I think is the correct way to say that. So she's a designer from Doodlebug. So I can't wait to play with that one. So I'm assuming this is supposed to be a rose or some sort or just some fun uh, thing in there. I'm not sure. All right. So get all these cat hairs on my desk. I'm sorry about that. So this here is a kit, I'm assuming. And this might be with Lauren because, again, three different designers. So let's see what we have in here. This is a Simple Stories collection. You know what? Let's just take it apart. I'm just going to cut this because it looks like she did a number on the knot. There we go. Make my life easier. Okay. So here we have what's called Hearth and Hol Holiday. And then we have all of those beautiful cinnamon twigs, orange slices. Oh, we have cardinals. That is a lot of fun. And then we also have, oh, I got to open them. I'm sorry. I feel like sometimes when you don't look at them in front of you, it's just not the same. Okay, so we have a letter. Definitely can do something with that. We have some leaves and some little hollies and berries and stuff. Here we have one that says cheer holiday top 10 that's so cute and then it has like a little point where it could be like if you're making that comment Ooh, we have little hearts christmas week activities how fun of a calendar is that love it we have some labels we just have some sentiments peace do not open until christmas oh what fun some little more tags in here and oh look that right there this i know you could probably make that by mashing it up but the fact that it's already done for you how cool is that so then this says uh, december documented this one looks like a little tag or ticket hearth and holiday let's be merry the date best family tradition that is so cute we have some more hearts and we have some more tags. I just love that. You could actually put it in any different direction. Well, I guess not that way, but so cute. We have one with a little gingerbread guy on it. We have one with bells. 
This one says celebrate. This one says holiday traditions, trying something new this year, doing our family favorites, or bah humbug. That is hilarious. I love that. We have some more tickets, tis the season, holiday feast with, and then you can mark off your food and company if you want to give it five stars or not. That's, that's hilarious. Here's Dear Santa, and then this one is so amazing. See, sometimes you just have to open them. I will put that away later. And then we have some enamel dots. I hope the lighting is okay for you guys there. I think that's better. We have some enamel dots. We have here some page um title pages so i'm really glad i didn't get this collection because now i have the I feel like i have the whole thing and i know i'm dropping all of these parts out of the bag but i feel like these guys don't want to come out come on santa so here we have three hearts and i just love the color it's like a deep red if there's such a thing called a hunter red because that's what it looks like or brick red so we have mr claus we have holiday cheer and again these are mainly for title pages we have a cute little cardinal or red robin however you refer that to that and we have a collection of little leaves and flowers all is jolly and holly and i feel like you gotta say ho 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 we have little presents Merry Memories. Oh, look at this garland. How pretty is that? And you could put a picture here and a picture here. So freaking cute. Okay, what else we got? Ooh, we have a full pad of the, the 6 by 8 paper pad. And you know I'm going to open this. Here we go. I have not seen any of this stuff. So exciting. Okay. So these are double-sided. So we have Mary and Bright, which is a perfect title page of an album. And then we have beautiful flowers. Yeah, I'm going to do it like this. A bunch of different sentiments. You can definitely cut these apart, fussy cut them out if you want. Ooh, this one's so pretty. Look at this. That is a big, bold December 25th. But look how cute. I actually like the B-sides a lot better than the A-sides. Oh, this is so pretty. Look how cute these are. All is calm, all is bright. Look at all these tickets. Little stamps, I guess is the right word to use. Jolly old Nick. Ooh, this one's pretty. I love that. You can make that your background, put your picture here, but um, underneath your picture, build it up with um, tags and whatnot. Oh, look at this ledger paper. Santa Claus Express 1 through 25. How cute. You could probably use this as what you guys are going to do every day for the holiday. You know, like build a snowman. If you're in Florida, build a sandman. Um you know, uh, do what? Decorate your tree. I mean, we do have ice skating rinks in Florida, but you'd probably want to go roller skating, right? Or do you like the, they have here, um, where you can go to areas where they have everything lit up. I think they're called like lights of something. I don't remember. Anyways, I know I'm getting off topic, but here we have a bunch of different cut aparts and then it repeats again so i'm just gonna kind of fan it because we've just seen everything all over again and the colors are just so pretty then we also have some frames i would love to know if we're gonna make shakers because that would be a lot of fun oh my god we got the sticker book too so look how cute this one is double one So pretty. Oh, look, little houses. So that is the frames. Then we have the sticker book. I'm surprised we have everything in this kit except for like a 12 by 12 paper pad. 
So again, the kickoff that I'm showing you, this is sold separately along from the retreat itself. So just something to think about. Um, if you are doing it, this is the kickoff that I'm still showing you. So again, these are the stickers. Ooh, we have some border strips or washi tape, however you want to interpret that. And this is matte. It's not shiny at all. Um, and I'm pretty sure you probably can ink some of this if you wanted to. We have some of the stamps from that page we saw. So fun. You could always back that with cardstock if you wanted to. And then you have your numbers. A bunch of different sentiments in green. Oh, that rocking chair. Or the rocking horse. And then you have some bigger letters and some more sentiments. That huge jingle is so cute. And then you have, um, I want to say that's probably a one and a half and these are one inches. If you wanted to use a circle punch to back them with um, cardstock. And again, that is the Hearth and Holiday sticker book. So again, we're still working with the same thing. And then here are some foam stickers. They are double sides, so you have two sides. Look, this is my sand snowman, but with sand, even though it's wood grain. But yeah, we're going to make him a sand guy. Totally for Florida, right? All right. Then they also include a, um, I wonder if this is a challenge. Oh, no. Hold up. That wasn't for Lauren. So this is for Lauren. I wonder if that's her challenge. So what they did last some last year, not last year, what they did in the summer class is they had a challenge to do. And the challenge that I did, which I showed you guys, was the adventure um, accordion that I put together. So it makes me wonder if that's supposed to be our challenge to put something together. And if they did, oh, my mind's already racing. So we're going to figure that out. Obviously, it won't be during this video, <laughs> but I will share what I do my project share. So this is actually for Lauren's class. So that's an actual bonus that they gave us. That is super cool and amazing. So let's open this. I don't know what it made me think that that was supposed to be a class. So this is the kickoff make and take for Lauren. Lauren Seals, I was right with her last name. And so we, she's going to do Doodlebug. Um collection of sorts and she did give me an extra thing of tools so that will be fun but we have here some doodle pops some twine some paper a huge tag so it will be fun to see what we do oh she did give us some instructions so that will be fun so again this is everything just for the kickoff so i'm gonna put this off to the side so i don't get it confused and now we're going to go into, look how they have this package, guys. So now this is going to be the actual retreat. What? Maybe I should just leave it here. Okay. Come on, zoom out. There we go. Okay, so this says a special Santa gift for you. So cute. Let's see what's inside. I can open it. Is it taped? No. You know these new boxes. So open your gift from the bottom to see the goodies inside. One lucky person will get an extra surprise. Make sure to carefully open the little letter inside to see if it's you. Tie it back up for a cute embellishment for one of your projects the letter is simply a small tag from the candy cane lane tag paper folded in thirds okay so open your gift from the bottom to see the goodies inside okay first off look how cute this is oh my god okay so it says to open it from the bottom Hold on. 
hold on look how cute oh my god okay this is so exciting see now i want to join their other one they have in april god i'm a sucker how cute are these little things okay so i'm gonna put these off to the side and then it said um make sure you carefully open the little letter inside to see if it's you so let's see what the little letter i'm gonna put this off to the side it's so stinking cute okay look how cute this little guy is let's see what it says ho 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 i'm guessing it wasn't me because i don't know what you're supposed to see Make sure you carefully open the letter inside to see if it's you. Tie it back up for a cute embellishment for one of your projects. All right. Well, whatever it is, it wasn't me. But that was fun. I really like that. That's so stinking cute. Okay. I'm going to put this guy back in. Put these off to the side, off to the table. So we don't ruin him. And let's see what else is in here. Okay. So this is my retreat charm. Now, the thing I've learned with them... When you sign up, you get a bracelet, which I probably got to find somewhere in this craft room, and you get a charm. Since this is my second retreat with them, I'm just going to get a charm because I already have a bracelet. So let's see what the charm is for this year's retreat. Oh my god, look how cute! a little candy cane with a bow on it and then you get candy lane retreat um 2023 i gotta find my other charm and put it on it okay and then i have my own little badge super cute Ooh, we have a mystery pin so inside you will find a doodlebug collectible pin there are no exchanges but if you already have this pin we will have an album on Facebook to use if you would like to arrange a trade with someone else. The little puppy tape. Oh my gosh, how adorable. I do not have this. The only one I have is the um, flamingo from the summer so cute okay what's next let's open this should we see what's in here all right i'm gonna know no wait hold on there's another bag okay so look how cute this is i think what they they give you as goodies because in the summer one they actually gave us a bag of washi tape and then they also gave us a bag of treats to partake in or consume while we were doing the um retreat so they give us some pom-pom string here. Definitely going to use that on a later project. Ooh, we have some more tool. Seems to be an ongoing theme, which I'm gladly to accept now that I am learning how to sew on my paper. Let's see if I can get this. You know, when they tie the knot, they tie it pretty good. So I'm going to just slide it off. I'm like super excited. I'm so glad I signed up for this class. Okay, so we have a bunch of, you know, blurry things in there. We have some mints, which I love. And we have another three craft chase candy lane attendee exclusive. And look, it says three craft chicks on the side of Santa's truck. OMG. That is cool. Okay, I'm going to add it to my collection. All right, we also got a cute, adorable pen that's a reindeer and some notes. Oh, um, it's a doodlebug one. What? All right, I feel like I'm geeking out here on craft supplies. Look how cute. I love it. All right. And then we have the pen, which I just like love. Oh my God. He's so cute. Okay. All right. All right. 
Okay, so I'm just going to move this to the side so we can have access to the table. Okay, so let's see what's in here. I wonder if this is our treats. Oh, it is. Here we go. Go a little bit closer because you know we need to see stuff so we have dark chocolate milanos super cute we have a um sugar bowl bakery i think that's a scone if i'm not mistaken we have our hot cocoa which i cannot wait to do we have a cute little brownie that's so adorable we have some holiday kisses oh i love these mints all right and then look how cute this bag is. Oh my God, that's so adorable. I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna put in it. But right now it's just gonna be my snacks of choice for this weekend. And then I will uh, use it for something else, right? Okay, put that off to the side and then let's get started. So, Leo by Mail or Leo Concord. Con Concord, right. She is doing she is doing her December documented. Now, if you want to do her class, you can purchase it separately on her website, but she is attending some virtual retreats or some in-person retreats where she's doing the same class. So something to think about, I was gonna do her class independently, but then when I saw I was also a part of Three Craft Chicks, that's why I opted to do it this way, because I also wanted to take the other people's classes. Um, so as you can see, it has all this information available. Um, I'll go through it quickly. Let's see. So everything that we're getting in the kit. Ooh, we got some more of her stamps. Okay, so we have these, which I believe I used last year in Vicky's class. So I have extras. We have, oh my God, look how cute these are. Sorry. Okay, so she took wood circles and she added stickers on top of them. That is genius. Then we have in here some twine and some ribbon. We have a cute ticket. And these paper clips are amazing. Whoops. I don't know about the jingle ball. But we have one that says December. Let's see if I put that there. We have one that's a Christmas tree, and then I dropped one that is a star. Super fun. And then the jingle ball that just fell, which I you can't hear until I drop it, but it's not broken. And then we have some boho Christmas numbers. You can see them all there. I'm not going to take them out because it's pretty basic. We also have her word strips for holiday. So it says, ho, 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 that is separate, Santa, let it snow, Merry Christmas, good cheer, happy holidays, holiday vibes, oh, what fun, Merry, twinkle, bah humbug, merry and bright, deck the halls, tis the season, December, fa la la, holly, jolly, I feel like I'm going to be tongue-tied, feeling festive, warm wishes, dear Santa, special delivery, winter wonderland, celebrate all I want for Christmas. So it looks like you can purchase this on her website if you want, and the name is called Holiday as the word strips for her website. Then we have some Peppermint Kisses, the goodie bag, which I did haul in Vicky's class, so you can check that out. Um, Boho Christmas phone stickers. We have, let's see, an additional... Um, photo page we have a cute do do dolly doily doily we have a paper bag that could be for a cookie but it's probably not then we have the 12 by 12 stickers this one's from what collection oh simple vintage dear santo i like when he's on the phone then we have another 12 by 12. This one's from Boho Christmas. Then we have some Ho 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 Vintage, Simple Vintage Dear Santa. These are double sided. Ooh, this one's cute. This one is from Special Delivery. 
This one is the 4x4 Elements. I love this reindeer. This one is Holly Jolly Eggnog. Oh, for the win. We have 4x6 Elements. This is with a ledger in the background. I don't know if you can see that. Then we have Jingle Bells. Here are four by six elements from the Boho Christmas line. I feel like I have some of this in my collection. Then this one's Peace, Love, and Joy. This one's Holly Jolly Vibes. This one is Journal Elements. Oh, I love that design. Yeah, I want to say I have this. Um, three by four elements that Santa right there just like recalled my collect my recollection. This one is a holiday life. Ooh, I love that. So pretty. It's called Mistletoe Memories. So again, this is only for Leo's class. I still have two more guys to show you. So I do thank you for being here and watching all of this through because I am so excited. Like I said, for Leo's class, if you are interested in her um, December documented. You can purchase it from her website directly. Um, I'm not sure when it goes, um, like when the class is, but I do know you can get it from her. So the next one in the kit is Lauren Seal's Candy King Lane file folder album. Very curious to know how this goes because I've never done a file folder album before. She did show some sneak peeks on their website and then they did offer an option for an add-on kit i did not opt into that the reason being and i'm gonna explain to you why is because when i did the summer one i did opt into the add-on kit for the summer one and i felt that i had enough product from the main kit to make more once I followed her method of creating the album. So that's why I was like, I feel like I can probably buy file folders um, in this color or different colors and probably continue making with whatever's left over. So we're gonna see if that works out because I'm gonna share it with you. Um, so in here we have some goodies in this little bag and it's a bunch of twine. We have some binder wing rings as well to bind it. We have this cute little doodle pop. Love that. The fact that they can get things so tiny is just amazing. Then we have some tags and bags that I'm pretty sure we're going to be using. This is a thick chipboard, so it might be the backing or some something. We'll figure that out when we have the class. Then we have, I'll go through this next. Um, we have some icon stickers. So it's one-sided. Look how cute the little doggy is. So I want to say that this collection, the Candy Cane Lane collection, is from 2022. So this is not their current line, in case you were wondering. I do think that what they do is they do the years previous, the years past collection for the retreats. So I feel like that's what they do, but I could be wrong. Let me move their instructions off to the side. So here are the file folders. We have three of them. And like I said, I feel like I can just buy these once I figure out how she does it. Um, and then whatever I have left over, keep making. But that will be my, my uh, test, I guess. So before I get into the chit chat words, let's see what paper we get. So we have here some cut aparts. The snowflakes in the back are super cute. We have some basic white cardstock to use. We have half sheets of this cute little holly with some cut aparts on the back, which we'll probably be using the other side. Then we have polka dots and some cute little red snowflakes. And then we have um, some green polka dots with the stripes. This looks like a wood green in red with checker plaid. We have some cut aparts here, super cute. We have some border strips. That little reindeer is just so adorable. Ooh, we have pink hearts. Then we have um, 
sometimes no mm -mm. sorry the dog is about to bark and i'm like no don't do it nope nope all right, guys, sorry. I had to let her out of the room because she was just going to keep barking. Um, so then we have this cute, look at this, little scene with the little reindeers. And then you have one with a snowman. How adorable is that? On the other side, you just have a bunch of polka dots. Then we have trees. And then little trees. How do cute. We have some cute different colors with the uh, snows. And now we're going to get into the chit-chat. Okay. So I, I wanted to wait because I know there's a lot in here and I like to look at them. Who doesn't, right? Here we go. All right. So we have here, tis the season. We have love. And then we have a whole bunch of goodness. So here is Santa, and then we have Claus, right? We need that. Then we have Home for the Holidays, Tradition. <gasps> oh, ho, ho, with Santa in it. So cute. Ooh, we have one with houses. You can cut them apart individually or keep them as a whole, right? We have Christmas. We have another set of houses, but they're different. We have 25 in a circle another one that says Christmas this one says home this one says merry and bright this one says just decorating the tree happy holidays merry Christmas a bunch of different sentiments I'm just gonna go through them really quick December 25th hi look I love you that is adorable then we have a snowflake, and then, oh, there's so many. Okay, high in the snowflake can go. I love Santa. What? That's so cute. Okay, season's greetings. Very merry. I love Xmas. We wish you a, a merry Christmas. We have Santa on a, on a little stamp okay so we have jingle all the way i'm just gonna curve my hand here we have jingle all the way we have happy holidays family tradition ho 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 christmas magic we have little reindeer and a snowman merry and bright sending our love just what i wanted Christmas Eve, the word hour, the magic of Christmas, I believe, Santa Claus is coming to town, so happy to get together, yeah, that's what it said, um, deck the halls, family, hearts, memories, we have a little Christmas tree, let it snow, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas again. Ba la la la, you're so sweet. Season's greetings. Another little stamp. Little heart. Cheers. All I want for Christmas is happy holidays. You know, I'm already thinking that if I have any of this stuff left over, I might do a Christmas banner. I don't know if you guys saw my Halloween banners, but my mind's already tinkering with that. Winter Wonderland, the word this, memories, your sweet, white Christmas, family memories, cookies for Santa, visiting Santa, for the holidays, home for the holidays. Look at this cluster of hearts. What? That's so cute. So anyways, that's all of the, um, oh, there's one that says joy. That's all of the chit chat words. So again, that was Lauren's class. And then the last class I have Okay. So the last class I have is, um, Joey's. So again, she, I, I want to say from what I understood, 
Oh, maybe she's not Doodlebug. She's photo play. I am so sorry. I gave you the wrong information. I really thought she was Doodlebug, but I could be wrong. Don't mind me, right? All right, so and maybe she has photo play. So as you well know, if not, I will share again that I am not a huge fan of photo play, but I do have some of their collection, but not as many as other play people like Simple Stories and American Crafts and Echo Park. So I'm slowly getting into some of their stuff. I'm just, I'm, I guess I'm very picky. Um, so here are some pieces to go with her collection. So here is one that this is from Belief. And then we have one that's Jolly Holly. Hopefully you guys can be seeing this. That is so pretty. Here is one that is photo, um, just a bunch of different sentiments. And look at this backside. This kind of gives me like simple stories vibes. So I'm really shocked that this is photo play. Um, here is a distressed look. This one's called Christmas Carols. I really love how you have the um, music in the background. Then we have some solid red and green paper. We have a sage color, I want to say. We have a beige or off-white, and then we have some stickers. So these stickers are 12 by 12. Super, super cute. And guys, I was wrong again. See, people can be wrong, but I'm going to admit it because I, I like to, to do that. So I thought that the kickoff had the challenge and it does not. What has a challenge is at the bottom of my box for the main retreat. So here is my challenge accepted project. I am already like overjoyed because look at this. Look how cute these little penguins are. Oh my God. I, I'm just like, okay, so this collection, I guess is called Let It Snow. Okay, let's just dive right in because I am like tearing right now because I'm like really happy about this. Oh, we have um, buttons. Hopefully you guys can see that. So challenge accepted. What this basically means is that the following. Your challenge accepted pack has fun elements to create whatever you can imagine. Feel free to add your own additions from your personal stash to your project and share your finished creation. Your virtual peeps there will be an album on Facebook page to share your pictures and your project for in person, etc. And then the context you get, um, contents you get is five pattern papers, let it snow mini icons, Christmas ribbon, whale, hello, doodle pop, and then three boutique buttons. So here's... Here's the third one that was attached. So we have here the organza um, ribbon. Then we have here three different sheets of the mini icons. You better believe I'm gonna open this sucker. Oh man, my gosh, so cute. Sorry guys, I'm just so excited. Okay, so here we have, like I already showed you these adorable cute little penguins. Oh, look at all these fun little animals. Oh my God, I'm so in love. Look at these cute little reindeers and penguins. I'm a sucker for these little things. And then you have Santa on his ski gear. I don't know where a billy goat comes into play, but we're just gonna go with it. So stinking amazing. And then we have here the doodle pop that they mentioned. And then we have our five pattern paper. We have tags which are so stinking cute. On the other side are blank to do notes on them. Then we have your cut aparts. God, you're so cute. Look at the Santa. Oh my God. See, now I'm gonna go looking for the collection called Let It Snow. Then we have this. We have this side with all the trees. Now these are different trees from the last one I mentioned. And then we have this cute little polka dot one. All right, guys, so that actually wraps up everything in this retreat. I really hope <laughs> that I didn't take up too much of your time, even though I can see how long I was filming for. But um, 
I cannot wait to do all the projects. I cannot wait to share with you all the things I made. And I really hope that if this is something you're interested in, that you definitely um, try it. Try it for yourself. They do offer two different options, like I mentioned. Now they are doing the virtual retreat separate from the in-person retreat. So that way um, they have more time focused on each event, which I think is going to be very beneficial to both events. Um, and I can't wait to give you my feedback on that. Along with now I'm contemplating if I need to sign up for their April one because their April one is around the corner. Another footnote to note, they are in Washington state. So depending on where you live, they do um, all their lives or videos or anything on Pacific time. So here in Florida, we're on Eastern co Eastern time zone, so it's like a three hour delay. So it's something to think about as well when you're gonna do it, whether you're in person or virtual. Obviously, if you're in person, you know the you're right on time. So um, what else to say? I don't know what else to say because I'm like super excited to have this big smile on my face. I'm sure it comes off on the camera, but uh, yeah, so I'm wondering if in the kickoff, all that Simple Story stuff was just freebies because to me, that's what I want to perceive. But I won't know until when this goes live to know the answer to that question, which I will, again, let you know when I have my uh, project share video. So you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my stuff. Um, and definitely leave a comment down below if you opted into this retreat, if you've done them in the past or you haven't and you're not sure. I'm more than happy to answer any questions that I have the answers to. Along with, I would love to hear from you as well. So you guys have a fantastic day and I will catch you on the next video. Take care.